Hey, what's up everybody? Mark McKinnon here. And today we're doing video three of the series about how to create a character for Bassem 4th edition. So today's video is going to be quite short and this is about stats. So chapter four, page 71 in your book. Stats are, are only covering three pages of the book because they're really straightforward. The tristat system on which Bessem is based, tristat system, tri being body, mind, and soul. So unlike other games you might have six or nine attributes, there's only three attributes, which is all things physical, all things mental, and all things spiritual, body, mind, and soul. And so what you're going to be doing now is looking at the templates that you have. Uh, they selected in the previous um, chapter three. So you might have chosen a race template, a size template, maybe even a, a, a class template as well. And then looking at the character points that you have established during session zero, so you know how many points you have to play with, you're now going to finish up assigning your stats. And these are your base capabilities. These aren't your special abilities. These are underlying your, your kind of the base things that you can do. So your body is going to be all things physical. So you're going to be your dexterity, your strength, uh, your flexibility, uh, your health overall. And these are things that kind of give you the foundation of your physical as well as mind being mental. So this is gonna be about you know your, your thinking power, like are you an intellectual, as well as how wise you are. Um, your, the power of your mind itself, in case you get into psychic combat at some point, you know how much strength of the actual brain do you have? And that's gonna be your mind stat. And then there's the soul stat. And this is a little bit more nebulous. This is about willpower. This is about karma, luck. It's gonna be about your ability to persevere. Think anything that's that's not about thinking or potting, punching things, uh, so it's not physical, it's not mental, then that is what your soul uh, stat incorporates. And so those three aspects of your body, mind, and soul, they usually range from a scale of 1 to 12. Some campaigns could go to higher. Uh, 12 is from the maximum normal human potential. So in most games you, you may end up running, 12 is certainly fine. Your average human adult is going to be at a four. And if you're maybe a, a youth, you might be at a three or a two. You get into to levels of one and then you're, you're effectively incompetent, like infant uh, at a one. But four is considered your, your baseline for most characters. And this is, you think about it, it's like I have roughly an average body of a normal human or roughly the mind and mental capabilities of a normal human. So that'll be the four that you're going to start with. And then you can go up from there. If you want to have someone that's highly athletic, for example, you will probably want to get more than a four body. You could go up a, as high as 10. 10 body would be best in the country or a large region. So if you are thinking, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm like the best in the, in the area that I have in my campaign, whether it's a fantasy game or science fiction, it doesn't really make a difference. These stat values, they give you the rankings that you're going to have between 1 and 12. And with GM permission, you can go above 12. The stat point cost that you're going to be contributing is two times the level that you have. So if you have a body 4, mind 4, and a soul 4, you're just, you're just playing an average human. So you have a 4-4-4. Four, four, four. That's a total of 12 uh, of your stat values. Multiply by two because that's the cost and you're going to be 24 points of the number of points that you were given during session zero. So you know if you only have 100 points to work with, how many points do you want to put towards stats given that you may have spent some already on your race and your class. And if you can't afford to have those points that you want, you're either going to have to scale back the stat points or maybe go back to the earlier templates and, and choose a less expensive template. Or we can look, of course, at adding defects later on, which will you know, give you drawbacks, but in return, you're going to get some points from that. So the stat values are very straightforward. Everything is in here. The one thing I will mention, it is briefly outlined here, if someone says, well, I want to be super strong, but I want to be kind of clumsy. Or maybe you want to have a, you know, a good mind, but you know, maybe your, your common sense isn't quite as high. So you're a high intellectual, but you don't really perceive the, the world other people do. And so maybe your common sense is lower. So there's two different ways to handle that. One of them is with the shortcoming defect, and that's outlined here. So there's a defect later on that you can adjust aspects of stats. So twink uh, an aspect of your body. So on everything, you might be a body of five or six or seven, but on one particular aspect, you have a shortcoming. And so you're going to be a little bit lower than that. Another aspect is looking at uh, option is attributes. And so you can have uh, a lower body stat, but if you want to be super strong, you just add the super strength attribute. And that's in the next chapter. But it's a way that there's augmenting from your baseline 
uh, with attributes, or you can go under your baseline by taking certain aspects of a stat and give them a disadvantage, and that's in the defect section. So your body, mind, and soul, think of those as kind of your base. You want to make sure you choose values you're going to be happy with. They're not expensive at two points per character level, but when you're adding them together with your class temp and your plate and your race template as well as your size template, you want to make sure that you keep your point values in check as well. So that's it for this section. As I said, short video, only covers a few pages, but it is the foundation of everything in Bessem are your three stat values. So give them some serious consideration. And in the next video, we're going to go into really the meat of the character creation, which is attributes chapter five. Hey, thanks for watching.